Don't worry, this is a Photoshop tip. We are starting off here in Illustrator. I have the selection tool active. As soon as I click on this circle just here, we immediately see these transformation handles showing up. I can easily grab that and quickly make a change like so. So let's jump over into Photoshop. Now I have my Move tool active, and I'm even going to over here in the Layers panel, click on the circle layer just here, get nothing in the way of transformation handles. Now many of you would know at this point, we would come up to Edit, Free Transform, or use the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control T. Okay, now we get the transformation handles. Now I can make a change like so, and to commit that, press Enter or Return, or the tick mark just up here. Or of course, just press the Escape key, or this little guy just here, to cancel out of the transformation altogether. Now as cool as all that was, it was definitely a little laborious. I'm just going to click in a blank part of the Layers panel here. Nothing is selected. Now the option I'm about to show you, you need to make sure you are in the Move tool. So with it selected, I'd like to draw your attention to this option up here, Show Transform Controls. I'm going to activate that just now. No change yet, just down here. But over here in the Layers panel, as soon as I click on the circle layer, check it out. We get those transformation handles immediately showing up. So I can quickly make a transformation like so. Now guys, we still do need to either press enter or return or this tick mark just up here. But again, let me demonstrate that. Clicking away with nothing selected, no handles. The second I click on the layer, those handles show up. I can easily make my transformation enter or return to commit that. Quick bonus tip for you. When using the Move tool, if you are sick of having to come over to the Layers panel to select a layer, I've got some good news for you. Up here again in the Options bar, we have this option just here, Auto Select, which I'll turn on just now. So notice, if I click on the background, nothing happens, but as soon as I click on the circle, it becomes active. And because we also have Show Transform Controls turned on, we also simultaneously see those transformation handles. So when using the Move tool, if you activate both Auto Select and Show Transform Controls, you'll find Photoshop now has much more of an Illustrator feel to it when it comes to making these kinds of edits. Oh, and by the way, the Auto Select feature, I do have an entire video on that that you might like to check out. So that's the Show Transform Controls option here inside of Photoshop. I hope that helps you speed up your designing process. Catch you later.